Okay, so on to question two. HCl is a strong acid and acetic acid is a weak acid. During a reaction with a strong uh, base, the weak acid is forced to completely dissociate. Uh, there is no weak acid molecule left intact at the equivalence point. Since it completely dissociates, dissociates you might think the delta H of the reaction be the same as the strong acid HCl. However, the accepted value for the delta H of reaction for acetic acid is about 1.9 kilojoules per mole less than for the hydrochloric acid. Explain why this is so. Okay, so because we know that acetic acid is a weak acid, this means that it only partially dissociates to its ions. Okay, so I'm just going to show the dissociation of acetic acid to the acetate ion plus a proton. So when reacting with a strong base, The neutralization process actually gives the energy needed for complete dissociation. So this is the region, the reason why delta H of the reaction for a weak acid is lower. Okay, so let's see what the junior tutor said. Acetic acid is considered a weak acid. This means that it partially dissociates or Complete dissociation of the H plus atom on acetic acid. It is reacted with a strong base through titration. The neutralization process, which results to complete dissociation of the weak acid during the titration process, gives the energy needed for the complete dissociation. It supplies the energy for the weak acid to dissociate completely. Hence, the delta H of reaction for the weak acid is lower compared to the delta H of reaction of strong acids. Yep, so this solution is correct.